that in Delhi we have three mountains, that all municipal west is there, Ghazipur and something, I don't know, remember the name of the places. Now I want to make it electric road up to Jaipur. I have just, yesterday I have a discussion with Tata and many people that how we can make economically viable electric highway. The Chief Minister of Uttarakhand was telling me that because of highway, the tourist number was doubled. And now we are making ropeway, cable car in Kedarnath and all the things that projects are working going on. Whether it is possible for us to make the alternative for coal, we can make white coal. We can use wasteland and we can make the plantation of bamboo. One layer road, then flyover, then flyover, then metro. We are also making the same thing in uh, Chennai. The whole world is, they want to prefer India as compared with other countries. I don't take the name of the country. In Delhi, we have three mountains, but all municipal west is there, Ghazipur and something, I don't know, remember the name of the places. But we have just making one road, UR2, Ring Road of Delhi. It's very important, it was actually responsible to the DDA. But I have just taken it and we are now, we will in three to four months, we are going to complete that. When coming from Chandigarh after Panipat, the road is start and it go up to the Dwarka and Dwarka there is a Shiv Murti, there is tunnel, three uh, tunnel, one to T3, one to Vasant Vihar and after Dwarka Expressway it can directly connect to Delhi Mumbai Express Highway. And now presently from that spot particularly after Panipad on the road, coming to airport it take two hours and I just gone by the road it's only 25 minutes. So it is going to resolve the road. Now I want to make it electric road up to Jaipur. I have just, yesterday I have a discussion with Tata and many people that how we can make economically viable electric highway. The dream is taking double-decker bus and a trolley bus by electric. It can reduce the cost. We can reduce the ticket rate by 25 to 30 percent. With AC buses, we can offer good service to the people. This can be possible. And there is a successful example is the automobile industry. As a in charge of this ministry, I am really happy about it. That once upon a time, the China was number one. China is number one. Then USA number two. And Japan was number three. And India was number four. But now, the situation is changed. We surpassed Japan and we have, our number is now number third. And I am confident that within five years, we will be number one in the world. Because one side, as considering the sustainability, we have started scrapping policy. <coughs> we have already a lot of imports of aluminium, copper. Now, we don't need to import. So, we will be more competitive in the international market and we will enclose our export and reduce our import. So, there is a great opportunity for Indian industry now. The whole world is, they want to prefer India as compared with other countries. I don't take the name of the country. Because a lot of people in the world now, they want to deal with India. So this is the golden opportunity where we need to think of how we can make sustainable development. Mr. Puri is chairman of ITC. Actually, fortunately, Yesterday, we are both in one program in Indian Express in Mumbai and the flight also we are with us. So I was consistently, consistently insisting him that you should think about rural agriculture economy. Already their contribution is great in that field. So I was telling him that whether it is possible for us to make the alternative for coal, we can make white coal. We can use wasteland and we can make the plantation of bamboo. And now, I already suggesting the sugar factories that you should give the rate of sugar cane to the bamboo. One of the bamboo species from Karnataka, Bhima bamboo, the production maximum coming to 200 ton per acre. <coughs> and presently, the sugar cane rate is, minimum rate is 2500 rupees per ton. So, you just imagine how much money from that you will get it. 
even the wasteland the coal india magnesium of india mining industry we have got a huge land available actually previously there was a committee under the chairmanship of mohan dariya ji and i remember that report actually that is to be a great thing where we need to take the decision that taking the help and cooperation of the corporate sector for developing west land first of all this is not a charitable business neither it is charity it is a economically viable business because we are importing coal and in place of the caloric value of uh, coal if considering up to 3600 800 the cost of the coal is coming 4500 rupees per ton we have a big import of coal in place of that if you can take bamboo with 4000 rupees per ton and we have the technology cutting pieces from 3 mm to 20 mm in place of coal the caloric value of bamboo is at least going to 4000 so we can use it as a alternative for coal and i will give one example where i need help from you people particularly the tourism is a sector where 49% of the capital investment is for employment potential and now i am just giving you the example we have not completed this uh, char dham project badrinath kedarnath gangotri yamnotri and from delhi to dehradun 2 hours end of this uh, year before december we will complete that uh, haridwar 1 and 1/2 hour jaipur 2 hours chandigarh 2 and 1/2 hour and chandigarh to manali in 3 and 1/2 hour we are opening lot of trains there and uh, katra 6 hours srinagar 8 hours mumbai 12 hours delhi to Ch- Man- chennai to bangalore 3 hours and bangalore to mysore 1 and 1/2 hour so lot of new roads where we are going to reduce the logistic cost but at the same time i am very much happy that the ashok leyland in bangalore they have launched their truck on methanol methanol is from coal and methanol rate is 25 rupees per liter and the bangalore Mus- uh, state transport corporation has taken a decision adding up 20% methanol in diesel that reduce the cost of the fuel and also reduce the pollution and most important thing that creating per increasing per capita income in particular rural agriculture and tribal india where tourism is very important the chief minister of uttarakhand was telling me that because of highway the tourist number was double and now we are making rope way cable car in kedarnath and all the things the project the work is going on after completing all this project i feel that it will be four times more so it is going to create jobs now our oli is a place which is supposed to be better than the house and uh, you can develop that even in a good spot which is available where i need your help i may we are making jojila tunnel between ladakh leh to srinagar so beautiful place is there now i acquired 900 hectare land the governor is giving to me my idea is that we can make health resort we can make the five star resorts restaurants hotels a uh, lot of things we can start there and it's a so beautiful place and we have taken a decision after manali the tourism is up to only manali so manali we have constructed a tunnel atal tunnel previously it was 3 and 1/2 hour for crossing manali now it is 8 minutes by atal tunnel you will go there and we are making four to six new tunnel between manali to ladakh and leh <coughs> and after ladakh leh there is a jojila supposed to be biggest longest tunnel in asia of 11.8 km then we have just completed the project of jhedmor and coming to srinagar so this is a such a beautiful place where a huge potential is available for tourism where presently we are importing energy but the dream of our prime minister to make india as exporter of energy and this is i feel that this is this can be possible i always feel that the vision is important i just uh, talking with my engineers just coming uh, there was a meeting on for some flyovers i tell them you think about 50 years 
and now just yesterday we have taken a decision for pune we are making the flower of in pune of three layers one layer road then flower then flower then metro we are also making the same thing in uh, chennai also so now we need to change our vision and the most important thing is that you can donate eye but you cannot donate vision the lack of appropriate vision is a big problem and where your role is very important i am not talking about any charity or anything about it but i feel that once upon in 2004 from that i started talking about ethanol talking about electric vehicles talking about hydrogen a lot of thing i was talking no one was ready to believe me in my own family my wife one day tell me that you are telling to the people that you can make hydrogen from the water and from biomass and we will run the car even i am not ready to believe you how people are going to believe you so there is a big gap so we need to convince the people we have a problem of pollution problem of traffic jam shortage of water shortage of infrastructure there is no actually the problem is that the way in which our cities are developing ultimately we need to reform our urban laws but at the same time this cities and this traffic congestion and pollution is becoming a big challenge for the society city like bangalore it is difficult for the people to go to their office it takes 2 hours and that is the reason that in the our development there is a centralization of development in particular area you are the appropriate people who can think and give the appropriate vision for the country that how we can decentralize development but now we are considering blocks and where water is a big problem i feel that there is lot of new innovations and research new technology which are available 